Microwave Engineering Chapter A Microwave Filters. In this chapter, we are going to discuss the basic theory of microwave filters. Uh, our analysis is based on the discussion in Microwave Engineering by D.M. Buzar. The filter is a two port network which is usually lossless network and reciprocal network such that it can be connected from port 1 to port 2 or from port 2 to port 1 and should be lossless so the total losses inside the filter is zero the basic idea of the filter is that it can match the load to the source at specific frequency band such that the total power from the source to the load is transferred to the load at this band and in another band it makes the load mismatch with the source such that the power from the source does not deliver to the load so effectively the filter can be considered as a frequency dependent matched filter matched uh, network uh, and this matching network is matched at the bus band and mismatched at the stop band there are different types of filters low bus filter high bus filter band bus filter and band stop filter in low bus filter the filter passes the frequency from DC up to cutoff frequency omega C. On the other hand, the high bus filter, the filter stops the frequency from DC up to the cutoff frequency and bypass the signal at frequencies greater than the cutoff frequency. In the band bus filter, the filter passes the signal at a specific band starting from omega 1 to omega 2. And before omega 1, the filter stops the signals, and after omega 2, the filter stops the signal too. On the other hand, the band stop filter stops the, the signal from frequency omega 1 to omega 2. And it passes the signal for omega less than omega 1 and also passes the signal for omega greater than omega 2. In our design, we usually design the low bus filters. And after designing low bus filter, we are going to convert our design to other types according to the required specifications. So, the design is usually based on low bus filter and other types of filters come from this by using what we are calling frequency transformation. Okay, so effectively our analysis and our basic theory is based only for low bus filter and the other types of filters are obtained from the design of the low bus filter. Assuming that the filter is a two-board network and we have a source and we have a load so we have instant power and load power the ratio of the incident power to the load power is called the power loss ratio so the power loss, uh, the power loss ratio is defined as the power available from the source or the incident to the power delivered to the load be load and effectively we usually uh, make the ratios with respect to the incident power as the incident power equal one so the delivered power to the load is one minus the reflection coefficient gamma square so the power loss ratio equals 1 
over 1 minus gamma squared. So where gamma here is the reflection coefficient at the input port of the filter. And gamma is defined as Z input of the filter minus Z node over Z input plus Z node. And it should be noted here, Z input in this case is the input impedance of the filter loaded with the load resistance. So all this network correspond to Z input. Okay. And in this case, the power delivered to the load equal the incident power minus multiplied by 1 minus gamma squared. Effectively, 1 minus gamma squared is equivalent to S21 squared or the transmission coefficient squared. So we can say that the power loss ratio the power loss ratio which is 1 over 1 minus gamma squared is equivalent to 1 over S21 squared so in this case S21 squared is the transmitted power over the incident power or in other words P2 minus over P1 plus or can be represented as bar at the load to the bar instant, which is 1 over BLR or bar loss ratio. So the insertion loss in dB, insertion loss in dB equal 10, look to the base 10, the bar loss ratio, which equals minus 20, look to the bar 10, or left. So to the base then S21. So the insertion loss equal the power loss ratio in dB which equal minus 20 log to the base 10 of the transmission coefficient S21. So we can obtain the power loss ratio in terms of the reflection coefficient or in terms of the transmission coefficient. By combining the two definitions, we say that the ball loss ratio equal B instant over B load, which equal 1 over 1 minus gamma squared, which equals 1 over S21 squared. And in dB, the insertion loss is 10 log to the base 10 bar loss ratio equals minus 20 log to the base 10 the magnitude of the transmission coefficient S21. And effectively, we are going to use this insertion loss to design the required filter. And this method is defined as or is known as the insertion loss method. So the insertion loss method aims to design a filter to achieve particular type of response for the function of the power loss ratio as a function of the frequency of it. This would be our technique to design the proposed filter. So effectively in our design for the proposed filter we are going to design specific power loss ratio as a function of the frequency of. As an example for low bus filter, the insertion loss or the power loss ratio, the insertion loss S21, the magnitude of S21, for low bus filter or ideal low bus filter. Its magnitude would be unity up to the cutoff frequency, so the transmission is 100% in the bus band. And at the cutoff frequency, the transmission coefficient goes to zero, and for omega greater than the cutoff frequency, 
the transmission coefficient would be zero. In terms of the power loss ratio, the power loss ratio is one over s to one squared. So as a bus band, the power loss ratio would be unity. And as a stop band, the power loss ratio would be infinity. So it is required to design a circuit which satisfies such filter response. Actually, in practical circuit, we cannot obtain such ideal response. So in this case, we will find that in the bus band, this would be approximately to unity and then will go slowly to be zero and then it will continue with you. Maybe it will not be completely zero. And maybe it will not be completely one. Maybe it will be there is some variation in the bus band. So all this stuff we are going to discuss in the next video.